Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Uh, first of all, apologies for the lack of content. Um, just things have gone off the scale here. Uh, I'm really, really struggling to find time to, to no mind vlog, just to even reply to messages and inquiries and quotations. So I'm, I'm really sorry for people who are sending messages in and I'm taking forever and a day to reply. Uh, there is only me who is the brew boy, salesman, manufacturing technician, you name it. It's just done by me. So I, you have to just bear with me. Um, over the last couple of uh, weeks or months even really struggling with the workload but it's it's a positive um i'm enjoying the work but it's no good for you guys not having any content so i'm trying to get back on track with uh videoing in some decent work uh, that i'm trying to get done and out to you guys so i've got a bit of an interesting one in this video it's for um it's a previous customer who's got uh, the same sort of product as himself he's got a um fiesta st180 track car which he's converted um, from a road car to a track car spec and he did the dashboard for him and um, he noticed uh, one of my videos I showed the control panel I've made in the sense of the car and he said oh, would you mind make one for myself um, so it was based it was based on this I mean this is a prototype that I did for mine I mean this is the first one I printed so I said yeah no problem I can sort that out for you um, so I'm going to do a, a special bespoke custom panel for him, for him to install into his car uh, he's also supplied this centre panel and he wants where the um, like the, the radio cutout is there. He wants just a carbon blanking plate there. And I said, it'd be better to make a blanking plate that's removable. So my plan is to um, install a 3D printed uh, sort of ledge that a carbon panel can sit on. So you, if you want to remove it, you know, you can just have a blank panel for now. It's bolted in with, say, some M3 bolts. But in the future, if he changes his management and he goes aftermarket, and he wants to say, have a USB uh, port there for mapping, he can do. It's always better to have it removable for future, basically future proof. Uh, waffling on now, but yeah, so in this video, I'm going to get a nice, nice housing printed, um, get a uh, front face out of carbon fiber designed up. We'll program it on the computer, get a design done in the CAD, then do the CAM software to get the G code done for the um, CNC over there. Um, and then we'll do that little center panel here and get this flat. Simple job but she'll be a bit more interesting than uh, some of the previous work you've been seeing, so let's get going. Okay, so that's the machining done. Um, so as you've seen in the video, the customer's had his car tuned and set up by uh, Collins Performance. So he asked if I could somehow get the logo included on the uh, panel. So I just looked on the internet, found their logo, sort of traced over it and included it into the um, into the CNC program. So I showed the customer like an illustration of what I'm proposing it's gonna look like in terms of the color. And it's, uh, you couldn't really tell on the, on the computer, but it's actually molten orange, which is the same color as his Fiesta with uh, red uh, halo momentary switches, push buttons, and a, a white halo push start button, and with the two-tone colors on the uh, CP logo. Um, so I printed the housing, which has turned out lovely. Uh, it's very similar to mine, except it's a little bit more shallow. 
and uh, it's got a small hole at the bottom for the uh, the cables to go through because there's only a few switches on this unlike mine's mine's got quite a few cables there's only going to be a few on this um, and the panel has just been machined here it is um, yes yeah, turned out exactly as I wanted it I've just test fitted it onto the housing and uh, the, all the bolt holes line up which is uh, which is what he wants if you can see there but they're all bang on so what I can do now is I can get on with getting some uh, getting the paint uh, in the uh, engravings uh, the two tone first of all I mask up the bits that are going to be silver then get the the molten orange out of the way first and then do the silver and then we can sand it back top coat it and then we can get on with the switch gear so let's crack on with that Okay, so let's go on to the, uh, the centre panel now. So we've got this panel here. Uh, so what I've done is I've designed a um, sort of a bracket or a base plate that's going to go in here, just around the edge, and that's going to house the, or it's going to have like a, like a little ledge that the carbon fibre plate will just sit in. Um, so I just designed that in the CAD, uh, 3D printed it, and um, this is what I ended up with. So this is going to fit in there nice and snug. It doesn't fall straight through, but you get the idea. So what I need to do now is uh, is machine a piece of carbon that's going to be the perfect size to fit over there with the same bolt holes, the same bolt pattern. Push it down so the carbon sits flush, just maybe a little bit higher than that because when I flock this, it'll put about half a mil. So I want to make sure that the carbon is nice and flush with the flock. So just machine some carbon, offer it up, get this ledge to the right sort of height or depth, correct? And then we'll uh, bomb this in from the from the back. To make sure it doesn't go anywhere, and then this panel will be ready for flocking. So let's get on with that, let's get it machined. Right, so after a little bit of machining, we've got this nice little panel. So if I offer it up to this there, and I want to try and get this to the right. You can see this. Uh, so that fits perfect with the bolt holes all lined up. So I just want to lift this up now. So about. Uh, I think that looks good. It's nice and flush. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some Voodoo glue. This VM100, and we can bond this in from the back. And that'll hold it in place. Okay, so uh, that's all in now, it's all bonded, nice and solid. So I've masked up the front face because I don't want to put any size on the um, on the backing plate which will cause the carbon plate to raise up. I want to leave that as it is. So I've just masked that off. So if I apply the adhesive to this, uh, I can put the adhesive on, smooth it all out, then remove the tape and then I can flock it and it's going to leave um, the, the 3D print you know, ni nice and as it is. Um, this one's not so essential. Um, so it's I can just go straight on with the flock on that one and get that done. So let's get these two done. Okay, so we've got the uh, the flocking's all done now. So while that's curing, 
Um, I can start look at this panel that I've put the paint into, into the engravings. So uh, a lot of people have asked, how do I get the um, the writing on the carbon? So you see me engrave it with the CNC machine. Then I have to literally just pour the um, the paint into the engravings, which ends up like this. And then you've got to painstakingly sand it back, being very careful not to sand through the engravings. And then you top coat it with some uh, two pack lacquer. So uh, let's get sanding. Some things in the Right, near enough the end of this project now. So we've got the both um, panels, we've got the housing and the center panel all nicely flocked. This one's got the nice little uh, shelf uh, bonded in now for the, uh, the little blanking plate. So that's just gonna sit like that, nice and neat and flush. And then we've got this panel here, which is gonna sit in there. Can't do it with one hand, because I don't want to mark the flock. But what we've got to do is uh, we've got to put the buttons in here get the wiring, like a very small wiring loom sorted. And then we can bolt this into the housing and then it's all done ready for the customer. Let's get wiring. Okay, so that's the center panel all done. All bolted up, some nice little bolts. It's got a nice flush fitting. Yeah, I think it's gonna look a treat when it's in the car. Yeah, happy with that. So let's get on with the, uh, the wiring now on the other panel.
Okay, that's it, all done. Uh, a little bit of a hiccup with the, uh, the housing for the control panel. The original one I 3D printed, uh, if you remember, I said I tried to make it a bit shallower. Uh, well, unfortunately, I didn't take into account the back of the switches and they just sat a bit too deep and they wouldn't sit in this, um, into this housing. So luckily enough, I had another one on the shelf. So I used that, flocked it in the amphisite and installed it. And it's turned out pretty well. So I've also installed a Deutsch connector uh, for the little loom, which is a bit overkill. I think it's like an IP rated uh, waterproof uh, plug and connector, but I just find these are just so much more robust. They're just nice and solid and they look good. They, not, they don't fail. And they're also, you can maintain as well. You can take the pins back out if you want to change anything. It's, they're just great to work with. But uh, normally if I was doing um, say a more complex panel like I've got in my car with say multiple switches on it, I would do a pin out that would be on the back of the uh, carbon panel so you know exactly what the pins are and also I'd label these up for the customer so they know exactly what they're splicing into. But on this one, because it's so primitive, um, these are momentary switches so there's no polarity involved in it, it's just literally making a connection when you push the button. So we've got uh, eight wires, obviously a pair per switch or per um, task. So pins one and two is the illumination for the halos. Pins three and four is the rain. Five and six, the engine. Seven and eight, traction control. So it's dead simple. I mean, you can just test with a multimeter if you had to, but you shouldn't need to. But um, I've also made the weave uh, the same direction as the center panel. So as little details like that really do make a difference. But I just thought I'd just try and um, explain how I can, how this is like a kind of a new product. I mean, you don't have to stick to this shape. Any shape of control panel can be designed. It's basically up to your imagination or what, what sort of space you've got in your, um, in your, your race car or whatever you've got to work with. We can make it fit um, and then make the carbon panels fit accordingly. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'll put some pictures up with the halos all lit up with a bit of power so you can see what the control panel looks like. And um, that's the end of the video. So I uh, hope you've liked the content. I know it's been a while. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. It really helps grow in the channel. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.